Silver Rig has been completely redesigned for this new version. This 2.0 version has uh, this uh, interface that we can access from MGear Simple Rig Simple Rig tool. We also ha still have the the old um, Simple Rig that is now called Simple Rig Legacy, but it's not gonna be maintain, update, or bug fix or anything. So um, probably it's gonna be disappear in future versions. Um, so once you open this um, this tool, you will find this uh, interface or menu here, and basically um, it it's meant to help um, non riggers to rig basic props and backgrounds. So let's say we have these uh, elements here that it's a, a prop, basically it's just a bunch of torus and cubes, and I have this organization where I have my cubes under the cubes geo root and my torus under torus geo root and I have this geo root here. Uh, it's not needed to use this but if we use the um, this uh, system now we can take advantage of our previous organization to pre-make the rig. So the first thing uh, we can do is um, we can create the, the basic rig like this. We have some options here and um, we can also extra configuration here so for instance main world control is in the one center or it's gonna be on the so I can delete the rig and I do the same but uh, main control is not in the world center for instance and now when I when I create it's gonna be in the base of uh, the most um, lower part of your um, asset or prop so um, we can also use a fixed size, so this is going to be calculated automatically. But sometimes you want a fixed size for the for this element, so you can ch check it here. And also, you can define the uh, shape by default of the um, local and the global controls. That it's square. This to yellow here. Also, uh, you can opt to don't create the wall control, so it's uh, this here. And which shape are you using? Also, you can create some anim sets, or what we call it. Uh, this is uh, for um, the um, publishing on the pipeline. So, if you want to handle uh, how your um, elements are um, published for animation publishing, you can handle it here. But by default, is using the um, um, shifter configuration. So you can see here it's a very common uh, set of uh, or list of sets from uh, Shifter, and we have here the, the new anim sets that we are using on company. But you can use your own configuration here, just separated by points. And you can see here it's a basic. So this is what is the default for us, but obviously you can change it. And um, so what else? Um, we have this um, edit configuration here. So if we create um, custom um, pivot so let's say I, I want this uh, by default it's once I create the sorry when I create the um, rig it becomes unselect all the geometry so you can come here and uncheck this so it's gonna be selectable and now um, we can create new um, a custom control so I select this element for instance and this one, it, it doesn't need to be in the same hierarchy, like I can use this and this, and then select the parent control, and I'm gonna call this extra, and it's gonna be in the center, center of the geometry, and it's gonna be a circle, and I create. So I have this that only move these two. So it's very simple to, to do it like that. Um, you can delete the pivot if you don't like it, so just select the pivot and delete it. If um, for any reason the pivot has been moved, like for instance if I create again this pivot and I want to delete now, um, it's not going to allow you, so if you have any any situation where you think that it's not working the, the tool, check the, the login information here. So you can see here um, you need to reset the thing before um, deleting, because if not it's going to delete with the um, element, oops, not this one, uh, no with the elements out of place so you don't want to lose your uh, binding positions. Um, so this is to create extra controls and then uh, once you, you have it, so I'm just going to create it again, um, we can uh, edit the pivot. So let's say by default you have this configuration but this um, element is here in the center so I don't want it there, I want to edit the pivot so 
this is gonna um, okay so I just move it so now I can edit move it there and set the pivot also you can add elements so I want this added here so I just add it now or I want now the cube to remove it from here so now it's um it's removed also if I don't know which one is affected which which control I can select the control and select affected so it's gonna show us what is affected then uh, we have the auto build so the auto build is gonna try to analyze your structure and give you um, a kind of smart build based on the uh, geo root or this uh, naming convention here that you use so I'm going to delete the rig and create an automatic rig so I put here this is geo root I already created this so if I auto build it's gonna try to generate this for me so as you can see here the two layers have been uh, separated here this is a uh, completely structure, completely uh, separated structure obviously maybe for publishing you want to put everything under the same root or so on if you do that take uh, take care because when you delete the rig it's gonna probably delete your asset and um, also let's say I do my auto build and I check here I did my pivot I don't like this I want it here set the pivot also you can repair in pivots so if you want this pivot now this is this and this is separated but I want this child of this so I can reparent so now this is like that don't do m manual reparenting and things like that because it's using internal connections with messages so it's gonna it's gonna mess a little bit your your rig and probably it's gonna start uh, making some mistakes or errors um, so for the extra configuration well you can configure also the the root name here the others are already we will already talk about that um, we can export this so if we want to export the configuration uh, we can export it uh, it's very important to keep in mind that this um, this simple rig is meant to be used one asset at the time so if you have more than one simple rig here it's gonna try to export the first one that they find so now I, I export it so I can delete my rig and I can import the configuration again and it should be there and everything rigged so this is also helpful let's say you have your your layout asset and you have this structure already fixed and now um, just I want to delete my rig here and I do some editing on my on my asset like for instance this or even I I duplicate or do some changes on my asset so now this is the new asset uh, the the base structure is the same so it will find the pointer because it's the same structure but you change the the names here you don't need this you can point directly to the to the objects in a flat hierarchy but if you do that uh, obviously uh, it's gonna have troubles to find back the things or if you you don't have the consistency of units I mean it's not super smart it's gonna try to connect what he has already connected in the previous version so I'm just import again and yeah that's it so it will connect with this new rig so this also helps in the pipeline and um, this can be serialized of course and um, now we have this convert here um, that we can convert to shifter rig and create a shifter guide so this is something that I it's probably one of the most interesting features is like as I say before this uh, simple rig is meant uh, to be used uh, for everybody like people that is not necessarily a rigger and that doesn't need so much knowledge or more than five minutes to learn the tool and start doing some rigs um, so if you if you let's say you have this rig and for any reason you need a more complex rig in this asset you don't need to trash your work and probably you you can use a shifter on top of this so the way to do it is there is two options so we can convert so we can convert to shifter rig so now it's converted to a shifter rig so as you can see now this is a, a shifter rig with all the the elements the only issue here um, is that the rig is not bind yet 
And the reason because it's not bind is because the uh, we are pointing to these elements and these elements cannot be bind. If we use the um, the object itself, it's gonna also try to to bind. And the other thing that it can does it can do it's it create a shifter guide. So you can see here before it created the shifter guide. So um, it's gonna be it's gonna be the same thing. So it can create the the shifter guide and um, yeah, transfer for you these these elements. So you can you can get the guide there. And uh, and yeah, that's that's it. Um, there is this uh, auto here that have auto build, and it's the same as here. It's a like a different access for the same function. It's just like if you are here in extra configuration, you don't want to go back here every time, so you can build from here. So that's it for the simple rig. I hope it's helpful and let me know in the forum if you have any question. See you in the next video. Bye bye.